Brian, the issues on offense, particularly the red zone and amber protection, is it one of those things that it's just getting into rhythm, cleaning up a few issues here and there, and, uh, and, and it seems like there's it's been a little bit of everything at times. Yeah, no, no, it's been. It's been everyone, you know. I don't think you can pin it on any one group or any any one person. You know, I think everyone has played a part. And as a group, we just have to clean it up. You know, we ha we've had opportunities, and we're you know this far away for a lot of reasons on different plays. You know, so as a group, we just need to be able to to execute once we get down there. We're moving the ball well. We're getting first downs. We're we're sustaining drives, but we got to be able to score in the red zone. So it's going to be key for us, uh, not only this week, but as we move forward, just being able to put sevens up when we get down there. How are things come, coming along as far as you and Coach Todd, as far as like, uh, you know, what's up this week, what's not? You guys sorting through the plays and just figuring out what, what's good for the week. Yeah, it's been great. You know, just working with Todd on, on uh, game plans, you know, um, you know, presenting ideas and then making adjustments off of those and, and uh, trying to find ways to, to continue to play good football. So, um, you know, love the way our relationship is progressing and, and look forward to it continuing to progress. We saw more bunch last week create that separation. Was that something, you know, as a result of conversations you two had, or is that something he brought to you to open up, or how did that come about? Uh, just, you know, game planning, you know, watching tape and, and how those guys played, um, you know, thought it could help us for sure. It didn't seem like guys were asking, were you throwing into tighter than throwing the and looking at people? Yeah, we got to get creative and uh, try, to, try to free some guys up. You know, like you said, the bunch stuff can help us a little bit. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we have to be able to go out and, and beat the man band across from us. And then as a quarterback, it's my job to find the good matchup and put it in a good location. What are like, I guess, during the following week when you have seven sacks? You don't want to point fingers, but you got to get things fixed. And, and how how critical maybe do you evaluate things after a week like that? Yeah, it's tough. Obviously, it's going to be tough to win a football game whenever um, you know we're taking that kind of that kind of loss in the past game. So. Uh, I think every every group had a, had a role in that. You know, there's certainly some plays that I could have helped. There's plays that the O line could have helped. There's plays that receivers could have helped. So, um, again, kind of like the red zone, everyone plays a part in it, and it all works together. So, as a group, um, just have to do our jobs a little bit better and, and um, be able to create those plays. Become more of a challenge for you on a game like that to not start looking at the rush and making sure your eyes are downfield still the whole time. Or no, I mean, I don't feel like I, I ever really. You know, look down at the rush too much. Uh, obviously, you feel it, but um, I try to keep my eyes downfield. That way, I can see what's happening and try to get the ball out. How much of this has been the way defenses are playing? You guys that have been different this year versus maybe last year in terms of the, the pressure and the sacks you're giving up. I mean, every every uh, team has a little bit different game plan. So, um, you know, I wouldn't say that, that going into the, the Jets game, they played us totally different from what we expected. Um, but they did a good good job of, of going out and executing, and and we didn't. So uh, that, that led to a bunch of those plays. How important is it, Ryan, to, to maybe get some mix in some downfield shots in, in the offense? And, and you know, what are the most important elements you guys need in order to kind of implement that into the offense? Yeah, I mean, explosives are, are huge. You know, just um, time it up. You know, call. You know, having the right call on when you get the right defense. You know, I think that's just. Luck of the draw sometimes, um, and we've had some good opportunities and, and haven't been able to make the plays. So uh, it all, like I keep saying, you know, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but it all works together, right? We need uh, a little bit of extra time when we're trying to push the ball down the field. Uh, we need good pocket movement and awareness by me and a good ball location, and then we need receivers to to be able to get open and, and make a play on the football. Be tough also, I guess, when you don't have many of those plays. You know, those long drives can be more difficult. I guess more opportunities. Something like that to hold back the drive, but if you get a couple X plays, 20, 30, 40 yards downfield. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, that's just the math game, right? You know, the more uh, the more plays you run, um, the more consistent you have to be with your execution. You know, if you're able to to create some chunk plays, uh, you're eating up yards with without you know using as many plays. So uh, definitely, definitely big for us. We've had some opportunities and haven't been able to make the plays, so uh, have to clean that up and just be able to make them. What do you see from Josh. The rush has been heavy like it, like it was last week. Do you have to maybe go to more shotgun, three-step drops with more slants and screens and those sorts of things? I think it's a combination, right, because um, you want to get the ball out, but you have to be able to give your receivers uh, something to, to help them get open. So, um, you know, it's, it's a balance of, of trying to create rubs or, or bunch patterns or whatever the case may be uh, to help them get open, but also 
um, you know, you, you can't be in, in a bunch every single play. So it's a balance of that. What did you see from Josh Reynolds uh, finally kind of play throughout the whole game? I know maybe had an opportunity there in the end zone, but also had some first downs that were critical. Yeah, he made some big plays for us, you know. So, uh, you know, glad he was able to come in. And, and I've had a lot of confidence in Josh, you know, throughout training camp. Obviously, he missed, a, missed some time. But um, when he's been out there, you know, he's, he's an easy guy to throw to. It's easy to kind of see his body language. Uh, and he made some big plays, some big third down conversions for us. So it was big for him to step in. You played, you played Jaguars, bunts that you've been here. I mean, what's one thing you consistently get when you face them? And what have you seen from them this year? They're playing good defense. You know, you, you see them come out. They're flying around. They're making... Uh, big plays, you know. You, you see them against Cincinnati. Uh, a lot of third and longs in that in that first half. You know they're uh, being disruptive uh, and uh, throwing off timing, making plays in the pass game, uh, and really you know making it tough on the offense. So for us, you know we have to go out and do our jobs and expect uh, a Jaguars defense that's flying around and making plays. With AJ and Julio, they sometimes make superhuman catches and things like that. Do you find yourself having to adjust the ball placement and things like that? When they're not in there, the throw to the other guys. Uh, not so much. I feel like I still, you know, try to give my guys chances. You know, especially down the field. You know, in those last game, um, you know, we weren't able to to make a ton of those plays. But um, when I'm out there, I just try to trust the guys that are out there to go go do their job and, and make plays. Um, you know, it's football, so guys are going to be out. And uh, as a quarterback, you know, a lot of times you can't. Uh, you can't hesitate or, or overthink things because maybe a piece is missing. You know, you have to be able to go out, cut it loose, trust your guys to do their job and make a play. Do you, uh, you practice who you practice with, but do you just pass Julio and AJ during the course of the week and say, hey, how you guys feeling? What do you think? Or how, how does that work? That's yeah, no doubt. A lot of conversations. Uh, try to see where those guys are out. So uh, we'll continue to have those, those conversations throughout this week. Good feedback? <laughs> it's, it's good conversations for sure.